Are you ready? Let's go. Today's project, we're going to be building a desk organizer. Before we get started, we need to go over our PPE. First off, we need our safety glasses. We need to protect our ears with our earplugs. I've got my steel toe boots on to protect our feet. I've got my welding helmet here, my welding gloves. I'm wearing my leather welding jacket. And because I've got long hair, I've got my welding beanie to protect my hair. The tools and equipment we'll be using today is a wire-fed welding machine set up with the gas metal arc welding process with 035 wire. I've got my grinder here with a flap wheel. I've got a wire wheel, my soapstone, some small magnets, welding pliers, a combination square, framing square, chipping hammer, wire brush, a ball peen hammer, tape measure, and an adjustable clamp. I've got my material here already pre-cut based on the sizes given in the blueprint drawing. Now you can change the sizing if you'd like, whatever material you have available. So here I've got my base plate, I've got my name plate, the front tubing, and I've got four different sizes of steel tubing. Once we have all of our material cut to its specific length, we want to prep it before we get started welding. We're going to use our grinder with a flap wheel and our clamp. We want to clamp our pieces to the table and we want to grind off any mill scale on top. You want to make sure that you're using your gloves when material handling. Just a reminder that when you are grinding the mill scale off, you want to make sure that you're light as a feather and you don't want to take off too much material. We just want to take off that top layer of mill scale. Once we get the mill scale off the top, we also want to do the same on the sides and we want to round the edges to get rid of any sharpness. I like to do it in about three movements and I'll show you how. I'm going to start with the top being flat and then I go on a bit more of an angle and then I have another angle. Once we've done all four sides and the top, we also want to flip it over and do the other side as well. Now that I've got my base plate ready to go and prepped, we also want to do the same to the rest of our material. We want to grind all the mill scale off and round all the sharp edges. all of our material prepped and ready to go, we're going to start off with our base plate. You're going to need your soapstone and a combination square. We are going to measure at the top of your plate half an inch in on both sides and you're going to do a little, a little tick. As well as the bottom. Then you're going to flip your plate over and measure the same half inch and do a little tick. Now where your ticks line up, we're going to draw nice straight lines on all four sides.
Now that we've got our lines drawn out, we're gonna start with the back row of tubing. I'm gonna grab my three on the back. Gonna place them on our plate. Then I'm gonna use my framing square to line them up properly with the lines that we've drawn on the plate. Always make sure that you measure twice and weld once. So double check your measurements, make sure everything's square and in line. We're gonna get our welding machine all set up, ready to weld. You will be tacking on the back side only. So one, two, three, four, five, six tacks. We're gonna hold it into place and then we're gonna assemble the rest of it. Before you start welding, make sure you change your welding helmet out of grind mode. I've done that one too many times. Use your wire brush and give those little tacks a clean. Now we're gonna assemble the fourth tubing. And that's gonna go in front of this one. Again, use your framing square to make sure it lines up and it's square. I'm now gonna put two tacks to hold it into place on this side. going to wire brush them clean. Now that we've got the four larger tubes tacked onto our base plate, we're going to weld the inside before we assemble the other parts. I'm going to push my weld, do the short side first, and then I'm going to stop there, and then I'm going to come to the far end and I'm going to weld in and stop there. Once you're done one weld, make sure you use your wire brush and wire it clean before you do your second weld. If you happen to get any splatter, make sure you use your chipping hammer. Because it's a tight space, you can use your wire wheel on your grinder to get in there and get any spatter off. Always make sure when you're handling your wire wheel, you've got your gloves on. Now that we've completed those two welds, we're actually going to push this aside and we're going to grab our nameplate. Now depending if you want to use a nickname, your first name or your last name, use your soapstone and write it on here and we're actually going to weld our letters out. So I've actually already made myself one of these with my name on it. 
So this one I'm actually going to be shipping to Saskatchewan as a thank you to our CWB Association director, Max Saron. So I'm actually going to weld his last name, Saron, on here. So I'm going to use my soapstone and get that done. Once you've completed your wells, let it cool down and then use your grinder with your wire wheel or use your wire brush and give it a good clean. Don't be so hard on yourself. This is a fun project. Welding lettering is hard. That's the best I could do, Max. Next, we have our last two parts to weld on. We're gonna start with the smaller front tube. This is where you can use a magnet to hold it into place. Use your framing square to square it up with the rest of your tubing. And then we're going to place the nameplate on the other side to line up with that front tube. Again, use your framing square to make sure everything is square. Once I have everything lined up, I'm going to tack it into place in three spots, only on the inside. One there, one there, and one there. You can also place a tack well to hold this end as well. Now that we have all the parts tacked together and the inside welded, what's left is to weld the outside of the larger tubing only. It's going to require a maximum quarter inch fillet weld. We're going to be welding from here all the way around to the back. We won't be welding on the bottom of the nameplate and we won't be welding on the front. It's probably gonna take you about three to five stop and starts to finish this whole weld around. Two things to remember, when welding around a corner, you never wanna stop directly on the corner. You always wanna stop just a little bit past the corner. And whenever you're restarting a weld from a stop and start, make sure you fill in your crater.
Whenever you stop your weld, make sure you use your wire brush and give it a good clean. Once your welds cool down, use your wire brush again and give it a good clean. Make sure that you're not handling it with your hands. Your part's very hot right now. Make sure you use some pliers. If you've got any spatter on it, use your chipping hammer and then give it one good final clean with your grinder and wire wheel. Once you have all the welds wire wheeled and cleaned up, because it's raw steel, we want to make sure we give it a couple of coats of clear coat to prevent any rusting. This is perfect for either in the classroom or in your welding booth. I can hold my welding tools right here. This one's coming to you, Max.